recently. <laughs> so I'm you know what? Ask it. Has he been asked to waive his no trade clause? No, he has not. And here's the trouble. And and Ken King said this last week when this was a big issue, is that when it's a non-story, and and then we have to stand here and rebut it. The rebuttal becomes the story, and and you know I, I think it actually it, it puts us in a position that you know isn't. I, I don't know that it's fair to the organization. I know it's not fair to Jerome. But, you know, it's troubling that everybody, you know, when, whenever there's some rumor, I, I guess one of the questions I have is where do these things start? I mean, are they legitimate sources or is it a blogger in the basement in his underwear that says this is the rumor du jour? And then you guys feel the need to come and, and track it down. And I, I, don't think, I don't think it's fair to the organization. I know it's not fair to Jerome. And, and so specifically, while I'd rather just say that I don't have any interest in rebutting a non-story, I will specifically tell you, which camera do you want me to look in? Right here. Yours? <laughs> I'll look straight into yours, and I will tell you that it is not true. Jerome McGinley has not been asked to waive his no trade, and Jerome McGinley has not uh, demanded a trade or asked for a trade. There is no list. There is no smoking gun. There is nobody in the grassy knoll. <laughs> what else do you need? Thank you. Sure.